From the shelter of the Victor Harbour boat ramp, within seconds, Dan Irvine's rigid inflatable is up and away for a quick circuit of all that makes the southern Flurio coastline so impressive. Granite Island, the Causeway, the Bluff, they're iconic landmarks for anyone who's holidayed on the south coast, but most of us only get to see them from land. On Dan Irvine's tour, you get an entirely different perspective and it really opens your eyes to one of the most spectacular stretches of coastline in South Australia. Between May and October, Dan and his big duck, as he affectionately calls it, share this stretch of coast with other visitors who come from much further away to bask in the warmer waters of South Australia. Well, uh, we've stumbled across, I'd say, five or six southern right whales this morning out here in uh, Victor Harbour, just out from Bremer Beach. And what's that breaching all about? Well, uh, no one knows 100% why they do it, but uh, it's believed it's to communicate with each other and uh, also a way of freeing up uh, barnacles and parasites on their bodies. On Dan Irvine's big duck boat tour, nature has a way of interrupting the regular commentary. Whether it's whales suddenly emerging like sunken reefs to reveal all their mammoth glory, or curious characters like these, who can be a little too inquisitive. They get pretty excited when we arrive and sometimes they swim out towards the boat. So uh, yeah, it's always a exciting part of the tour. You were saying the other day you had to stop one coming into the boat. Yeah, they're getting a bit too friendly at the moment. <laughs> I've uh, had to actually, yeah, put my hand out to stop one jumping on board. Yeah. Well, the great thing about your tour is that it is uh, nature writ large. I mean, you, you, you're up close and personal with nature the whole time, aren't you? Yeah, it is. It's amazing. It's great to see uh, these wild animals in their natural environment. The New Zealand fur seals haven't a care in the world, oh, except for maybe the uh, occasional white pointer. But today it's all sunshine and play in a location Dan long thought had been undersold to us locals. West Island, just around from the bluff, is proof of what lies just around the corner and out of sight for so many landlocked visitors to Victor. And so too, this amazing stretch of coastline, the Waipinga Cliffs. So from leviathans of the deep to cliffs that reach for the sky, the south coast has got it all. And the best way to see it is on the big duck boat tour. For more information, visit southaustralia.com